Hello and welcome back to Moon Medicine Yoga. I'm Allison, if this is your first time here, and I teach yoga aligned with the moon and the seasons. Today we celebrate August's full moon in Aquarius, also known as the Sturgeon Moon. This full moon rises during Lamas, the beginning of the harvest season. This is a fruitful and abundant time in the Northern Hemisphere when crops like apples, wheat, and corn are ready for gathering. The sturgeon moon is named for the lake sturgeon, a freshwater fish commonly found in North America's Great Lakes and large river systems. In centuries past, these fish were plentiful and a staple food for indigenous peoples and settlers. Sturgeon are ancient creatures, sometimes called living fossils, as they date back to the time of the dinosaurs. The word sturgeon means stir. This fish forages at the bottom of lakes, stirring up mud in search of food. However, in August, they rise from the depths towards the surface, making them easier to catch. During this full moon, we too may experience a stirring. Despite the waning strength of the sun, August days are still long, hot, and dry. The vibrant energy of early summer can shift into a weary, overheated longing for the cooler and cozier days of fall. Take a moment to observe what this full moon feels like for you. Does your world feel abundant, fruitful, and fulfilled? Perhaps this is an emotional time with old feelings rising like the ancient sturgeon towards the surface. Or maybe your energy is low and yearning for the gentleness of autumn. There's no right or wrong experience. Allow the light of this full moon to illuminate your inner landscape. Yoga teaches us to observe without judgment. So whatever arises, greet it with love and curiosity. May this practice help us to release stress embrace our present state and receive the abundance of the season feel free to share your full moon experience in the comments below i would love to hear what's happening in this season of your life this will be a 30 minute slow flow yoga practice you don't need anything today aside from yourself some comfortable clothes and your mat take a second to hit the thumbs up button and we're going to begin in a kneeling position today We're going to start sitting on the heels in hero's pose and if this doesn't feel good on your knees or for any other reason you can simply take a cross-legged seat allow the breath to deepen to flow like water in and out On your exhale, slowly drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Breathe into the left side of the neck. When you're ready, extend your left arm out to the side, making a soft fist and start to roll the wrist, creating a little stirring through the forearm. and then switching directions. Curling that fist inward, circling it outward. Your exhale, let's pause and open the fingers. Turn your thumb down and then bring that hand to your low back or you can reach all the way across and reach for the inner elbow of the other arm. Keep the right ear fall into the right shoulder. Relax both shoulders away from the neck and breathe. Enjoying a final breath here. 
On your inhale, bring the head back to center, release the hand back to your lap. Relax the shoulders, the throat and the jaw, and then drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Taking a deep breath into the right side of the neck. On your inhale, slowly lift the right arm out to the side, curling your fingers in for a soft fist and start that stirring motion through the wrist. Drawing big circles with the knuckles, keeping the arm long and firm. You can switch directions. Now pausing, extend the fingers and spiral your thumb to point down. Coming into that half bind, the back of the hand comes to your low back or reaches through for the inside of your opposite arm. Check in that you're not clenching through the jaw or the brow. Keeping the spine long but the muscles soft. Take a final breath here. Then inhale very gently, bring the head back to center and then release the hand back to your thigh. Let's come onto hands and knees. On your exhale, tuck the toes for downward facing dog, lifting the hips up and back. Pedal out the feet. Gaze back between the legs, keeping the back of the neck long. Inhale forward to plank pose. Exhale, drop the knees and pause. Cow belly the spine, so drop the belly, open your heart. And then like a fishtail, bend the knees, pointing the toes to the sky. This is just an option. Exhale, lower your chest and chin to the mat, keeping your seat lifted. Inhale, flatten the pelvis and lift your heart, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Take a deep breath. On your next inhale, rise to tabletop and find that cow belly breath. Option to bend the knees, keeping the seat lifted, lower your chest and chin, looking forward. Drop the toes, inhale, slide forward, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale to tabletop, arching the back, look forward. Option to lift the toes and lower to the chest and chin. Inhale, flattening out, heart peels from the mat, cobra. Exhale to child's pose. And we'll move one more time through this warm up fishtail flow. Inhale, tabletop, dropping the belly, exhale, lift the toes and lower to the chest and chin, Ashtang Pranam. Inhale, lengthen to Cobra, exhale to Child's Pose, but this time bring the big toes to touch and bring the knees wide. Sink the hips back on the heels. 
and let your belly rest between the thighs. Forehead on the mat or on your hands. Coming back to slow and deep breaths. On your inhale, keeping the knees wide, walk your hands in to sit on the heels. Preparing for Simhasana or Lion's Pose in honor of the new Leo season. Bring the hands on the earth between the legs so the fingertips are pointing back, wrists away from you. Press into the wrists as much as you comfortably can to feel that length through the forearms. Think about opening your heart forward. You could stay right here enjoying the stretch or join me for some lion's breath. For lion's breath, we take a deep breath in and opening the mouth for the exhale, sticking the tongue all the way out. Option to gaze down the tip of the nose. <laughs> yes, it's a super funny face but this releases excess heat from the body. You could try that twice more on your own or just simply enjoy the stretch. On your inhale, release, bringing the knees together Exhale into child's pose with the arms back by your sides. Once again, creating little fists, curling the knuckles in towards your forearms. A little counter stretch for the wrists here. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just pausing, being with the breath. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward and walk or take a big step up to the hands. Inhale, hands to shins for flat back. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Inhale, rise, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center, and then release the hands to your sides, mountain pose. From here, step the feet as wide as the mat with the toes angled out. Bring the fingertips to the tops of your shoulders, and then start to swing from side to side, inhaling to the left, exhaling to the right. Try to stabilize through the hips. They can shift too, but we want to feel a twist from the low back all the way through the upper back, just warming the spine left to right. Move at your pace. And starting to slow down, pausing at center, take a deep breath in, touching your wrists behind the head, elbows up. Exhale to mountain pose, arms to the side. Heel to the feet under the hips. And as you inhale, reach the arms to the sky and float your left knee into the chest. Exhale, reach back and curtsy lunge. So stepping that left foot back and off to the side. Inhale, knee to chest, arms up. We'll do that a few more times. Exhale, stepping all the way back and off to the side. Curtsy lunge, reach the arms back. Inhale, knee lifts, reach. Exhale, curtsy lunge. With control, inhale, the knee lifts. 
exhale a final curtsy lunge. Inhale back to center, knee in. Then setting the foot down with the toes touching heels apart, sit back in chair pose. Hands to heart center, inhale, lift the elbows and exhale, twist to the right. If this is too much, you can do an upright twist with the arms wide in a T like this. Stay here or bring in the weight into your right foot. Bend the left knee, pointing the toe for a little balancing variation. Take it or leave it. It's just fun to try new things. On your inhale, look down and fold. Unravel. Inhale, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, hands to hips. And inhale, rise, mountain pose. Cleansing breath in and out. On your inhale, right knee lifts in, reach the arms up. Exhale, curtsy lunge, reaching the arms back. Move with your breath, take your time. Let's meet with the knee lifted, reaching up. Exhale, hands to heart center, setting the foot down with the big toes touching. Sit your hips back and down for chair pose. Inhale, lift the elbows, lengthen the spine. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Option to do an upright T twist here too. Feeling the weight shift into the left foot, option to play with the balancing variation of Pavrita Utkatasana. And to release, look down, inhale, unwind into your forward fold. Inhale, lifting to a flat back. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, up to standing, mountain pose. Arms to your sides. Close the eyes and simply stand in stillness for a few breaths. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, folding, nice and slow. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, the left foot steps all the way back. Drop the knee and untuck the toes. Inhale, arms to sky for a low lunge. Relax the shoulders and reach long with the arms. Get the thumb and index finger of the right hand and wrap it around the left wrist. Inhale, lengthen the arms. Exhale to the right for a little side bend. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hands frame the front foot. Tuck your back toes and lift the knee. And then pressing off the back toes, exhale, bring your back knee forward, sending it down to the outside of your front heel. Getting ready for a seated twist. The sole of your right foot is flat on the mat. Your left heel is back by your hip. 
Inhale, back stroke the right arm through the sky, placing the fingers behind the seat. Inhale, reach your left arm high. Exhale, hook the elbow to the outside of the knee. You can stay here for a little less. You can hug the knee into the chest like this. Or for the final expression, bringing the hands to heart center in a seated prayer twist. A little variation of half Lord of the Fishes pose. On your inhale, release the hands, right fingertips behind you, and your left hand is gonna grab the outside edge of your right foot. Breathing in, extend the right leg and reach your right arm back. Reach the arms wide, feel an opening across the heart space, a sense of balance, feeling centered. Exhale, release by setting that foot down, walking the hands forward, and pressing up into a forward bend. On your inhale, hands to shins, lift halfway. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, rise to standing, mountain pose. Inhale, the arms to sky. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, right foot steps back. Drop the knee and untuck the toes. Inhale, the arms to the sky. Anjanea Asana, low lunge. The left index finger and thumb Wrap around the right wrist. Take a breath in to lengthen. And exhale, tugging on that wrist. Side bend to the left. You don't have to go far to feel a stretch. Breathe in your right side. Inhaling back to center. Exhale, hands to mat. Tucking the back toes, lift the back knee. Exhale, bring that back knee forward, setting it down to the outside of your front heel. Setting up for half Lord of the Fishes pose, seated twist. Inhale, backstroke your left arm through the sky, placing the fingertips behind your seat. Inhale, reach the right arm high. Exhale, hook the elbow to the outside of your knee. You can also hug the knee into the chest or after hooking the elbow, bring the palms together in a seated prayer twist. Your choice, but try to do whatever you did on the first side. Exhale, release the hands. Left hand behind you, right hand grabs the outside of your left foot. Extend the leg and reach your left arm back. Settle your gaze and deepen your breath. When you're ready, release. Walking the hands forward, press up into a forward fold. Soften the knees, relax the head and neck. Inhale, flat back, hands to the shins. Exhale, hands to hips. 
and inhale, rise to standing. Mountain pose, arms by the sides, palms shining forward. Cross the right shin in front of the left and come to a seat. We can come to the seat in whatever way works. From here, rolling onto the back with the knees bent and the feet flat on the floor. And of course, for the sturgeon full moon, we have to do fish pose. We'll set up by lifting the hips, place the hands under the seat with the palms down. As you exhale, bring the knees into the chest and extend your legs up to the sky, pointing the toes, really firming the legs. Muscles are engaging in on the bones. And then from here, slowly lower the heels towards the mat, keeping the legs long. And about halfway down, the legs reach a tipping point that lifts your heart from the mat. Walk your elbows in toward each other. So you're really propped up. And then shifting the weight back, rest gently on the crown of your head. Just the very top of your head on the mat. Feel your throat opening, your heart opening. Keep the throat soft and keep breathing. And to release, press into the elbows to lift off the crown of your head and lower your back to the mat. Draw the knees in, reaching through for happy baby. Grab the arches of your feet, spreading the knees wide. The length of your back flattening on the mat. Take another round of breath here. And when you're ready, you can let go of the feet stretch out taking shape for your final resting pose or shavasana take up as much space as you like allow the breath and the body to slow down sinking into the earth and enjoy And now slowly returning. Start to deepen your breath. Move the fingers and toes. And then one at a time, bending the knees, bring the feet to the floor. And inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Before rolling onto your right side, into the fetal position. When you're ready, press up to a comfortable seat. Taking it slow, bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for celebrating the full sturgeon moon with me. To seal our practice, let's bring thumbs to the third eye and bow to honor each other. Before you leave, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We meet for every new moon, full moon, and change of the season. Also, if you feel like you'd like to share your full moon experience, you can head to the comments below or just say hi. I love hearing from you and consider supporting the channel. So a bunch of good information below about making donations, becoming a member, the merch shop, stuff like that. 
And thanks again for being on this journey with me and for being exactly as you are in this moment. I will see you again soon on the mat and under the moon. Bye, yogis. <laughs>